Yo, what is up guys? It is Mac and I am back with another video. Today I have an update video and yes, I am finally back. Uh, in this video I'm going to go over where I was, why I left, um, what I'm going to be doing when I return. There's a little bit of a channel change and uh, there's going to be this really, really cool trailer at the end for some upcoming series that I'm going to be doing. So you should definitely stay tuned. Uh, to the end of this video because you will definitely enjoy it. I hope you can hear Craggly over there. He's being weird in the corner. But uh, I guess let's start off with where I was. Actually, first off, um, I before I recorded this, I recorded a showdown session that I still want to put up. Um, in that showdown session, I kind of go over this same material but to a less extent. Um, so you will see me or hear me do this twice. Uh, but this one is a dedicated video to the update of everything and where I was and all that stuff. The other one was a showdown session as well. And it's a really, really good showdown session. So you should definitely go watch that. That should be up like maybe even tomorrow. Maybe even tomorrow. But let's start off with where I was and why I left. If I keep looking down, it's because I'm actually scripted this time. Um, I, never, I never script what I'm going to say. But in update videos, it's easier for me to write down everything because... Uh, my thoughts get very jumbled and the piece of paper just kind of like is an outline if you will and like keeps me on track so I don't ramble off a lot like I am doing right now but anyways where I was and why I left so the last thing you guys saw from me was uh, some uh, some of the some showdown stuff and I started doing showdown because um, I was forced to stop doing my wonderlock let's play because my capture card broke um, my my 3ds capture card was I mean it was it was not it it was able to be repaired like it wasn't gone forever so I could have sent it in but uh, money wise and stuff I just I wasn't able to for a while so that's why I started doing showdown and I love showdown I'm gonna continue doing showdown showdown is a lot of fun for me um, I want to get into the competitive side of battling a lot more which is which is gonna go to the to the channel changing part then but uh. I started doing Showdown and then I started doing some uh, gaming with the goons, which you guys only saw a little bit of that, but um, I have a lot more of that planned, uh, stuff with Andy and some other friends that we have. But that was the last you saw from me, and then I just kind of vanished. And um, losing the capture card really hurt, uh, really hurt my uh, motivation. It really made me, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of hurdles to being a smaller YouTuber and losing your capture card, losing a let's play with somebody, uh, just just like just like stuff like that really, really hurts when you're already small. So that kinda I don't know, it it just it kinda pushed me farther down the not wanting to record ladder, if you will. Um, and then I got some really good feedback off of Snap. Snap was actually the very last thing I believe that you guys saw. I got some really good feedback off Snap and that that pushed me more like I wanted to record more again after that um, and then I was I was all hyped up for uh, for Oris to start I was really excited for that game to start I was like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a little I'm gonna take like a week off um, and I'm gonna get ready for Oris I'm gonna get all my templates and everything in order and we're gonna stream I'm gonna send my capture card off um, I got all my templates done um, I paid for overnight shipping to Loopy to get my capture card fixed and uh, I bought the shipping, and I labeled it and sent it off, and um, everything is in order, just got to get it back from Loopy, and I got a return to sender on my letter. So basically, the package never made it to Loopy. Um, it got returned right back to me, which made it so I didn't have any time to, um, to send it back to him to be able to record. And not being able to immediately record Oris um, immediately really really destroyed me like um, that was that was gonna be something that I was gonna be able to stream the right at midnight when it came out I was gonna be able to hopefully broaden the viewer base a little bit I wasn't expecting anything like life-changing but I was expecting like you know get a couple more viewers in and and just see cuz uh, I don't know it's just it's just more fun when more people are watching you um, and not being able to do that really killed my motivation again. My motivation was just getting back up when that happened, and uh, it just kind of destroyed me. Um, I don't know. It was really hard to recuperate 
from that. Knowing what I know now, um, I wouldn't have done a Let's Play of Oris to begin with. I probably just would have done Wi-Fi battles, like, immediately. Because um, the... YouTube was so saturated with content at that point from Oris that, like, there was no point in me or other small YouTubers uploading. Like, you can't... Pretty much everyone knows which Let's Play they're going to watch beforehand. And then they, like go watch those and maybe occasionally they'll like give a uh they'll give a few views to other people i mean i'm not saying i would have gotten zero views on all my aura stuff like i would have gotten i know that i have i have some core members of you guys that really would have uh stuck with me and watched uh the let's play but it just wouldn't have been what everyone it wouldn't be what all the small pokeytubers think it's going to be it's not like that um i do wish however i could have been able to stream at midnight but um Anyways, that really killed me too, not being able to do all that stuff. Um, uh, it even killed my motivation to play the game. I just now finished the Delta, well, I just now got to the Delta episode like two days ago maybe, and I haven't even finished it yet. I've been playing a whole lot of Smash though, so that also kind of um, also kind of helped. But I mean, I've, I've been able to play Smash Wii U and I just haven't been streaming it or recording it really, um, just because of the motivational thing. But about a week ago, about a week, about a week ago, <laughs> about a week ago, me and Will Drew Q, Andy, decided we were going to record. Um, he's he's been he's been really motivated lately to put up content himself, um, and it kind of it's kind of infectious, and it kind of rubbed off on me too. So um, he he wanted to record some stuff, which is kind of a transition into what I'm going to be doing when I return. Um, I am returning now. I have my motivation back. Um, I'm really looking forward to putting up more content and good content and uh, getting back in touch with you guys. But he wanted to record some Smash Brothers, and so did I. So, well, actually, he wanted to record some Mario Kart 8, and so did I. This was before I got Smash Brothers. And recording Mario Kart 8 m really made me realize um, it is... <laughs> The Wii U is a beautiful console, and um, it really uh, really showcases on Let's Plays. So I want to do more Let's Plays of Wii U games. So I was like, Smash Brothers, let's start playing Smash Brothers. So the first um, series that I'm going to be announcing that's going to be coming up is going to be Mac and Andy versus the World. And that is a... Uh, it's not going to be only me and Andy. It's also going to be me and Dina and me and some other friends. But mainly, it was created by me and Andy, and it is Mac and Andy versus the world. It is a, uh, um, it is a let's play where we go online for doubles, and we fight people. We do four four battles an episode. It's really funny. It's really crazy. We have a lot of really cool moments. That's going to be a part of the trailer at the end, um, and also uh, just smashing with. Uh, some fellow YouTubers and PokeTubers. I don't have a name for it yet. If you guys could give me a name for that, that'd be awesome. I need a cool, funny, clever name for that. But, but basically, I have a couple YouTubers and friends lined up, and I'm going to be playing Smash against them. And just a normal set, just best out of three, best out of five, whatever they want to do. Um, and uh, we're just going to see if I can hopefully take on some of the best YouTubers in Smash and win. Um, I'd like to say I'm a decent Smash player, so hopefully I will be able to win a couple games. The ones that I've recorded already have been really really close games really good games um and those two are coming back to the channel big announcement now yesterday um i was finally able to send off my capture card right now as we speak loopy let me see this email right now as we speak loopy has my capture card and he will be fixing it so it will be back in the next like hopefully by the end of this week um and uh, I did overnight it to him so he would get it like right away. It was a Christmas present from my loving sister. She uh, she paid for me to send my 3DS out to him so that he would be able to fix it, which is really really nice, really really cool. Um, but yeah, so that uh, that will be back, which means Wi-Fi battles will be back. And um, if you guys want an Oris Let's Play, then uh, we can do one. Um, but uh, the other Let's Plays, I'm going to have you guys vote. You guys that stayed for this long in the video, I'm going to have you guys vote on what the next Let's Play will be on my channel. And uh, the things, the, the I'm going to have the straw poll in the description, and I'm going to tweet out the straw poll and everything. 
But right now, um, the titles you may choose from are, drumroll please, Jack and Daxter, The Precursor Legacy. This game um, was one of my favorite games as a kid. When I was growing up, I was mainly a Sony gamer, surprisingly, I know, right? Um, I did a lot of stuff like uh, Crash Bandicoot and Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank and stuff like that. I did a ton of those type of games. And I kind of want to get back into that, which is going into the channel changing thing. Um, I want to kind of branch away from being a PokeTuber. I I don't, well, okay, that was a bad way of, of uh, phrasing it. I don't want to branch away from being a PokeTuber, but I don't want to be classified as solely a PokeTuber. I want to um, I want to do a lot of different games. Um, I don't want to... I mean, there's only so many Pokemon games that you can do, too. Like, you can only play the same Pokemon games and ROM hacks over and over and over again. Um, I need something else that will occupy my time and get other people in here as well. And Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, Fire Emblem, and those games, I hope they will bring other people in. Um, and... Uh, I don't know. That's the main that that's the main channel changer is I'm no longer going to be solely Pokemon content. I will still have the trading card game, which is one thing I forgot to mention earlier. I will still have the trading card game. Um, I will still have Wi-Fi battles. Um, I'll still be doing all the stuff that I did before. I just won't be doing all Pokemon anymore. I'll be I'll be doing let's plays like this. Anyways, Jack and Daxter and the Precursor Legacy, Mario Galaxy, the first one, Ratchet and Clank. Zelda The Ocarina of Time 3DS, Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD, Fire Emblem Awakening, and then you guys can tell me a game of your choice at uh, the bottom. After you pick one of these, uh, tell me a game that you would also want me to play that wasn't necessarily on the list. I'm always looking for new good games to play, games that would be fun to... Uh, um, games that would be fun to let's play and uh, I'm sure you guys know a lot of good games like that so that would be really cool um, but yeah that's pretty much it I think I covered everything that was the whole channel changing I'm just not gonna be a sole PokeTuber anymore it's nothing too drastic I'll still be doing Wi-Fi battles and showdown lives and the trading card game and all that stuff but it's not gonna be solely Pokemon and it's not gonna be solely Nintendo either um, it's I don't know it's something I've been thinking about for a while I don't wanna lean solely on my 3DS capture card anymore um, for all my motivation, so that's another reason, but um, yeah Thank you guys for watching my Update video. It was kind of a long one, but I really appreciate you guys staying with me in the channel and staying with me in the video um, I hope you guys like the trailer at the end for the new things with Andy and uh, Not just with Andy, but you know the new the new things. I hope you like the trailer at the end and uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye Yes, Red, aka Sheik's husband, though. <laughs> Look, yo, look. Take notice, this ain't my last flow I'm an asshole, addicted to rapping and smash bros My past foes all got slayed with zero hesitation Killed them in their homes, that became their final destination Missiles fired, Samus, their neighbors called up the popo Once they heard me bang them hammers, nah nah and popo I'm also hungry for paper, loose leaves my last meal Never learned how rattled feels, I fought everyone on this battlefield I'm in a league of my own, I isolate my sector Step out and blast zones, I suggest that you Vector or D-I or D-I-E You'll see it's simple, baby With my right, I'm masterful With my left, I'm a little crazy No ifs and maybes Watch your tone and get a grip, homie I body on my own I never touch assist trophies Moving at supersonic speed Think you could run from me Get knocked to spaces You can't return from With an up and B Every final smash Through a lyrical rendition Flow more OG Than the N64 edition Bro, but my melee skills are the type